get into stretching the hip flexor. Uh, Michael is showing you here a good example. We activate the quad with a light band and stretch it up as high as we can. We're only holding one to two seconds. And you can see he's getting the toe pointed as he takes it up and stretches it. So anywhere from eight to ten repetitions on both sides. Now he's a young 19 year old male so he doesn't have a problem with this stretch. He's pretty flexible. So for older adults we may modify this. We attach a light band to a six foot pole and then we put the foot in it and we're going to have him do the hip flexor stretch standing. So for people who have lower back pain and have a hard time going into the position that he was in on the floor we'll simulate that. And he's leaning into the band and then you can twist uh, your body in different directions to isolate that. So anyone that has lower back problems or has had lower back problems usually has type hip, tight hip flexors. So we find that uh, athletes, sprinters have tight hip flexors also. So we're going to go ahead and go do the same routine 8 to 10 repetitions, moving the foot around, trying to keep the heel on the ground, but if it comes up, that's okay. And you can see just different angles to get different parts of the hip flexor. This is a great stretch, though. It's band-assisted, and it really gets a great stretch. And we're going to go ahead and uh, just keep the band down and switch feet. And just step right into it and take the other foot out pretty simple and isolate the hip flexor on the opposite side. Again we only hold one to two seconds um, that way we don't give the Golgi tendons a chance to uh, react and so we'll release that and each time try to go down a little further into the stretch. And there you have it, hip flexor stretch, two options.